All right, students today, I'm going to demonstrate the proper way to give a shampoo. Yeah, I'm going to go through draping, uh, proper draping techniques for wet and dry services. And then I'm also going to do uh, show you the steps on prepping your client and doing a proper shampoo, rinsing, and also conditioning. So the first thing, oh, I've got my chair set up to where I need it. I got my supplies, my shampoo cake, my shampoo and conditioner, and I got two towels. Okay, so always make sure you got your supplies before you start your service. Okay, so we're going to do draping. I'm going to show you two ways to drape for shampoo. And the first way is normally the way that I drape when I'm shampooing somebody with short hair. Okay, use one towel. We're going to take our towel, hold your chin up a little bit for me. Cross, cross it over in the front. Take our shampoo cake. Must use a waterproof cake when you're shampooing. So we're going to cross this over in the front to keep the cake from touching the client's neck. And we're going to fasten our cake. Then we'll simply lay this part down. Okay. So when I get through shampooing her, I'm going to use this same towel to pull up and dry her. Hmm. So you can just use one towel when somebody's got short hair. Now, somebody with longer hair, we're going to drape them a different way. So we're going to take our towel here. We're going to use two towels. Cross this one over. Fasten our cape. Fold it down a little bit if you need to. So when we're through shampooing it, then I'll take my second towel and dry it. So that's the, this is the uh, draping I use for longer hair. Okay? Can you use that for short hair too though? If you want to. If you want to, you can. But I try to use my towels wisely. You know, when you get in the shop and you have to start buying your own towels, yeah. you know, <laughs> so you use, you know, make towels. everything work. <laughs> yep, you make everything count. So we're gonna go back to the short, short hair technique. That's it. And then pull it down. All right, so now we're ready. Come on back. Got your client back. Make sure they're in the bowl position. Can you scoot up in the chair just a little bit? Okay. And then we're going to set our water, water at the proper temperature. Don't want it too hot, don't want it too cold. If it's too hot all the time, I know a lot of people say, I like the water hot. But what that does, even though it feels good, it drives the scalp out. And you as a professional let them know that, you know, you might not want to use this hot water because it's good to you know, dry your scalp out. Even though it feels good, So the first step in a proper shampoo is a proper rinse. Rinsing is just as important as the actual shampoo. Okay. So we're gonna spend a little minute shampooing her real good. Get all the old dirt all out of my hair before we even put our product on here. Make sure I'm not using too much pressure. All right, so I did my initial rinse. So now we're going to use a shampoo, and it don't take a lot of shampoo. Probably about a half dollar size. On the first one, you're not going to get a lot of lather. Because she still got a lot of oil and dirt on there. So each time you do it, it should lather more and more. And you'll be able to tell. So the first one's just going to be to get the old oil and dirt off of her. So we're not going to spend a lot of time on that first round. 
Thank you. 